How you doing? I'm Jared Wayne Gladly, and we're celebrating the culture today, highlighting Gil Scott Heron. Gil Scott Heron is notably the architect, one of the architects of hip hop. Have you ever heard of Public Enemy, Kanye West, Lupe Fiasco? These are just a few of the artists who have been inspired throughout the years through Gil Scott's work. Gil Scott Heron was born in Chicago, but considered a New Yorker. Inspired by people like Langston Hughes, Gil Scott sought other education at Lincoln University in Pennsylvania. It is at Lincoln University that he met up with a group called The Last Poets. He was so inspired by the rhythm and the message and the political centering that this group did that he went up and basically wanted to know if he could do it for himself. It was then that Gil Scott started to work on what would be probably the most important catalog in American history. Some of his hits are The Revolution Will Not Be Televised, Whitey On The Moon, Billy Green Is Dead, Who Will Pay Reparations On My Soul. These were just a few of the most important, profound pieces that laid the groundwork for hip hop as we know it today. Little known fact about Gil Scott Heron is that Gil Scott Heron was actually the first artist signed to a little known record label called Arista Records. That's right, Arista Records. Whitney Houston, Clive Davis, Aretha Franklin, Notorious B.I.G., Monica, and Pharrell. His work and his impact will be felt for many decades to come. The revolution will not be televised. The revolution will not be televised. The revolution will not be televised. It'll be live.